Hey guys, it's Jason, and today in tech news, we're going to be talking about microparticles. Have you ever thought that microbots from Big Hero 6 and the new bleeding edge armor from Iron Man in Infinity War was the coolest thing that you ever seen? Then this innovation might not be that far ahead. Um... I can remember personally after watching Big Hero 6 and seeing how versatile that hero's microbots were, I was like, it would be crazy if this was an actual thing. And the sheer um, things that microbots could do could really help a lot of people in the world. But although it was really helpful, since it was able to do so many things, it would, if you think about it practically, it would steal millions of jobs. So that's the only disadvantages that I've seen from microbots. Um, an electrical engineering student at Duke University, his name is Ugana Ohiri, I think that's his name, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, must have thought that microbots and the bleeding edge nanotechnology in Iron Man's new suit was something that he wanted to make a reality because he actually did something similar. Although his micro, the micro particles he created are not as um, versatile as microbots and nanobots in Tony Stark's new suit, because most his micro particles can only do what those suits did while being suspended in water. Which ha which is, in my opinion, a uh, major drawback. But overall, it still has a lot of potential. The microparticles he created um, are 10 microns by 10 microns um, rectangle chips, and which and are 3.5 um, microns thick. These microparticles can be customized and also be programmed to do different functions. The way these microns are able to construct and reconstruct themselves in, into different shapes is due to the movement system that was designed. He modeled the, the movement after the human's body functions. The main human body function that he that he modeled his microparticles after was the brain. And the microparticles move by drawing energy from external electrical fields to propel itself. My overall thoughts on this innovation is that this is really cool. Like this is what makes me so interested about engineering and stuff like that. Um as I have stated before, the as this technology um continues to grow and become more advanced the jobs that it could fill will grow in itself um, which will cause a lot of people to lose their jobs and if it can assemble other products such as chairs and watches I mean that would be crazy it would be cool in the fact that your watch would take a few hours to make but factories and other things like that would and storage units as well would lose a lot of traction and jobs well that was the video like comment and share the video if you liked it um overall leave comments down below on what do you think of this new innovation that could literally be world changing it i mean this could change a lot of industries and and subscribe in order to get a notification of my latest news videos and i'll see you guys in the next video